What is this person doing with their money? What is this person doing with their money, guys? Hey guys, welcome to the village. My name is Bonnie. I create content around careers, education with a dose of reality check. Today we have a short and sweet video on engineering salaries, specifically mechanical engineering. We have three pay slips, a candidate mechanical engineer, and a mechanical engineer that works uh, in Saudi Arabia. Uh, there is a reason to feature uh, this payslip. And also, we have a geologist. <laughs> I was not going to just create a video, guys, with two payslips. So I thought, let me show you this geologist uh, salary. Uh, also, because I don't have other geologist uh, salaries. So let's start with this one. He's got um, uh, BSc honors in geology and 14 years of experience uh, as a consultant, okay? 14 years of experience. Uh, I know today is hard to get a job in geology. <laughs> uh, basic salary, 125,000 rands. Retirement annuity, 7,300. Medical aid, 2,000 rands. Our total earnings, 134,500 rands. <laughs> Uh, deductions forty one thousand four hundred and eight, uh, and then a pay of ninety three thousand rands. Alrighty, now let's go to this candidate uh, engineer. So I'm a candidate uh, mechanical engineer with eighteen months uh, experience. I'm still in training. That's uh, only paying income tax. Please let me know when you post mine, as I want to see if accountants and teachers will still complain that they are, they are <laughs> please let me know if you post mine uh, as I want to see if accountants and teachers will still complain and think they are the main focus <laughs> cash salary 37,488 tax 7,128 um, total deductions 7,300 and then a pay of 30,178. So that's a pay slip of a candidate, a mechanical engineer. Now let's go to this uh, lead uh, project engineer. Uh, I know he's not in South Africa, but he is a South African. And I've had a chat with him. Uh, his interview is coming um, this Wednesday. Okay, I graduated with BSc Mechanical Engineering, a degree from the University of Cape Town uh, back in 2000. So combined years, actually 24 years of experience. I worked in various uh, mining houses in South Africa in the first uh, 15 years of my career. Uh, but in 2014, I joined uh, the oil and gas production uh, uh, space uh, in Saudi Arabia. He's been working for the same company uh, since uh, 2014. I'm a lead project engineer in my current employment and have attached a few um, of my recent payslips. Please be advised that my payslip amount are shown in, in SAR, which is their uh, currency and not in rent. Okay, so their salary is obviously in their currency, which is Saudi Arabian real, reals. I don't know how to pronounce it. SAR. Uh, so we have to multiply that by five in order to get the South African value. Okay, so this is tax-free, guys. Okay, uh, this this what happens in the Middle East, and these amounts in the payslip exclude the following benefits. So let's read out the benefits. And guys, the good thing about this, I am going to leave in the description box uh, companies, uh, agencies, and companies that are hiring uh, engineers in Saudi Arabia. But I have to be honest with you, they don't take graduates. Uh, they only take people with experience. Because it, when it comes to graduates, they have to employ people from their own country, guys. We have to understand that. Uh, but if you are someone with experience in engineering, do check out uh, some links. I'm going to leave them in the description box. Okay, a free 4x4 SUV, a free unlimited petrol, free paid unlimited phone bill, a free accommodation in well-designed camps camps like family units all allowances paid are compulsory including overtime remote allowance etc free return flights 
uh, if you're going home during vacation, laundry, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, on a daily basis. Free medical aid, a uh, life cover and pension. But um, <laughs> let's see the salary. So guys, this salary that we're going to see here, what is this person doing with their money? What is this person doing with their money, guys? Hypo. The most recent one, guys, was uh, 75,000. 75,000 SAR, uh, which is in rands, 354,000 rands. Um, I don't know why is the amount appearing here, but I think this is a bank statement or something. It's appearing in rands. Uh, because I would assume it will only be their current. But let's see, like previous months, how much they were getting. Uh, this one is January. He got uh, 59,270. So we have to multiply that by five. Okay. Um, and he didn't have any overtime. Uh, March 2024, he received six, 68,000 uh, SAR. And uh, this one is for April 2024. That's where he received uh, 70,000 uh, SAR. Uh, let's just check quickly how much is 70,000 multiplied by 5. Okay, the 70,000 uh, SAR is about 340,832 in South African rands. Guys, you know what? Mina, I love this for them. Like, I'll be honest with you. I am loving this because they don't pay not even for accommodation hi guys no this is a good one i wonder if you can think uh, there's no reason for us to share this because they are not in south africa guys there's actually a reason for us to share this because you also need to know if you are an engineer with experience or you are just starting out uh, i think it's good for you to know that these are the opportunities that are available out there you know so they, he, did, he did mention that um, there has been like uh, various uh, companies that are hiring electrical, civil, uh, safety and mechanical engineering engineer, engineers from South Africa. But you need a minimum of five years working experience. OK, so for oil and gas companies, salaries, they start from just over 200K uh, net uh, home plus added benefits that he has mentioned earlier so those who are interested in this guys uh check out the description box uh, i've left a couple of links there and yeah when you get employed there please let us know um how it goes but personally i think this is a good deal guys i don't know about you uh please uh, like and share this video guys share it with someone uh that might need it on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, turn off notifications because you are going to love this interview with Elite uh, Project Engineer. For now, bye!